Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are in a slightly different setting. Right now we are in my car, which is actually my sister's car, technically. We are here today and I asked you guys on my Instagram what you would want to see and I like listed a couple options and I'm going to eventually do all the options. By far, the highest number of votes went to the do's and don'ts of BYU. So, I decided with the announcements for BYU's upcoming class of 2020. The graduating class, the high schoolers, they just got their um, acceptance letters. So I thought it would be a perfect time to do a little do's and don'ts of BYU. So I am wearing my little festive BYU, oh, I'm too tall. BYU dad sweatshirt because, you know, this is one of my favorite sweatshirts. I just like it. Um, I wrote down a couple, like a, actually a lot. <laughs> I wrote down a lot of do's and don'ts for BYU and then I also had some people tell me what they wanted me to talk about so I'll just like include those two. So I have like a literally a whole list so I'll try to keep this like pretty short but also it might be long. <laughs> I'm sorry. Let's get into the video. First do. So this do is for mainly freshmen but also sophomores and anyone like looking into a major that you might have to like apply for or something and that is to join clubs for freshmen it's free to join clubs and for everyone else i think it costs like ten dollars i think per club i joined so many clubs my freshman year i joined sherm which is hr i joined marketing association i joined women in business i joined pre-business student association i joined byusa byu student alumni i did um some y serve i joined a ton of clubs. I didn't even go to like meetings all the time. I just like joined them and I like figured out like which ones I wanted to like more focus on. So I went to a lot of women in business and marketing association and I did a lot of BYU BYUSA my winter semester and I did a lot of BYU student alumni my fall semester. So I highly recommend doing um, lots of clubs since they're free and they look good on your applications when you apply to programs, especially the business school. Next do is take fun classes. I suggest to take one every semester or every other semester. It just like helps you stay sane with all your like GEs or like prereqs or like major classes. Cycling, I took Zumba, theater makeup. I took a tap dance class. It makes it so much easier because you're like looking forward to a class actually. And it's like most of the time they're like one or two credits. So it's like really chill and really easy. Next do is to get a rock pass or follow the Facebook group. That's like the rock pass exchange. And the reason why it's really important, well, I think it's really important to get a rock pass at least your freshman year if you can afford it. It is a lot. It's, uh, I think it's 150 for football because they have one that's not including football and then they have one that does include football. At least for freshman year, you should get one just because you're so close to all like the arenas and stuff that it's super easy to go to games and they're lots of fun. Like they are seriously some of like my favorite things like to go to a game and just have fun. I mean, yeah, they're a long time, but if you plan your time wisely, like it's so worth it. And I highly recommend getting a rock pass. Usually the Facebook group, the rock pass exchange, you can just like pay a couple dollars, like five or 10 bucks, and you can get it for a day from like someone who's not using it that day. Which brings me to my next do, which is to join Facebook groups. So you might, like, Facebook is kind of dying, I feel like, in our generation, and our younger generation. Um, don't let it, because BYU has some amazing Facebook groups. There's a housing one for when you have to find your own housing, like people will post their contracts. BYUSA Facebook group that they like list all their events because not even their Instagram has like all the events all the time. Dollar movies and like skate nights and all that stuff. Um, another one, another Facebook group is the textbook exchange. So you can get your textbooks really cheap from other people instead of like buying them new or like renting them from Amazon. You can just like pick it up from someone in Provo. And then another one, like I said, is the Rock Pass exchange where you can just get a Rock Pass for a day. Um, next do is to take advantage of the free gym and the $15 like fitness classes. There's like a women's gym that I really, really like and that's in the women's locker room. Sorry guys, you don't have your own private gym. Um, and there's a sauna and it's so nice. 
and that also like brings me to taking advantage of your meal plan for freshmen um, since you have that meal plan usually uh, go to the blue line go to the sky room like use it to the fullest capabilities as you can because once you're a sophomore and you don't have that meal plan like you will probably not eat at these places again and I can do a whole video on all these like BYU secrets and like that kind of stuff and uh, if you guys want me to do that don't wait till the last day to take tests the last day to take tests it will usually cost you money it'll cost you five bucks for a late day fees kind of annoying don't do it all the time you can do it sometimes I usually do it for my bigger classes like my prereq classes like finance and accounting but don't do it for every single class if you don't have to because then you'll just get stressed and it'll be bad and you'll have to pay it all um let's see do look up professors on rate my professor but also take it with a grain of salt some people may just like be salty at the professor and just like put a leave a bad review but do look them up and do like read a lot of them just to see like what their teaching style is like and if you would mesh well with that just so that you know and it actually has like helped me find some really amazing professors. So I highly, highly, highly suggest looking them up on Rate My Professor. Don't pull all nighters too much. College, like I feel like a lot of my friends freshman year, they stayed up really late, really, really late doing their homework, like 1 a.m., 3 a.m. Sounds awful. And then they would have to wake up early because most of our classes start like at nine or something. And you think that you can do that, it sucks don't do that because you will lose motivation to get up okay so your sleep schedule will thank you do get to know your ward your hall and fhe groups well because that's a big part of making friends here at byu we don't have like sororities and stuff to like kind of get you to meet new people we have wards and like halls and fhe groups do look at studies around campus so some of like the research studies they will pay you or teachers will give you extra credit to do these research studies. So like SONA studies are the business ones and uh, most business prereq teachers will give you extra credit for doing those. Um, I also did a neuroscience, 60 bucks for once a week for six weeks. And I mean, it was just kind of nice to like get money, you know? Do take advantage of the days you get off. So BYU, kind of sucks in the sense that we don't have a spring break we do get out way earlier in the springtime like we get out in the end of like the end towards the end of april and a lot of people don't get out until may or june so we get like a couple three-day weekends like two or three like winter semester we don't have any breaks but uh fall semester we have thanksgiving like three-day weekends so on those days that you do get off take advantage of them like try your hardest to get all your homework done before that weekend so that you can take that time to relax because you're gonna need it. Like, BYU is hard and you need that time to rest and relax and to recuperate. So, um, a lot of people will go to the national parks, so like Moab or like Arches National Canyon or uh, Zion National Park. A lot of people will also maybe go to Idaho and like go visit Rexburg, which is like BYU, Idaho. Or some people will just like stay in Provo and just like chill or go to Salt Lake. But just like take that time to relax because it's, it doesn't come out around very often and you're gonna need it. People also go to Vegas and like California. Oh my goodness, don't get mutual just because you're bored. It might sound good at first, but it probably will backfire. Um, Mutual, the dating app, it's fun for a minute because you're like, swipe, 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 swipe. But honestly, like, if you want, if you're gonna get mutual, get it for the right reasons and not just because you're bored and want to like, you know, find a boy. Let's see, do have a way to keep your memory. So I know a lot of people, my freshman year, they did one second a day videos or like 10 second a day videos. I did a journal, like a five line journal. And I like took a bunch of Polaroids. 
I have like a whole blog post about how I like journal and stuff and different ways that you can journal, but it's really important to keep the memories, especially from your freshman year. You do so many th fun things your freshman year. I highly recommend finding some way to keep everything about your freshman year like together. Do get a white, navy, and bright t-shirt for games. Three colors, you only really need three. And that is because football games and basketball games and like different, yeah, they will usually like pick a color. Uh, I think basketball is usually white, like nine times out of 10, usually white. So definitely get a white one. And then football will either be white, the bright blue or like this navy kind of thing. And um, you really only need one of each. Thrift them if you don't want to spend too much money on them. Like DI and like savers around here have great ones that not a lot of people have and they're really cute. So on that note, don't go around the fair, like the freshman fair, just to see how many t-shirts you can get. The answer is a lot and you will probably never wear them ever again. Well, you probably won't ever wear them at all because a lot of them are like kind of cheaply made, not the colors that were like you need and like just don't look good. So literally don't waste your closet space or your time just getting as many t-shirts as you can. I know it's really hard. I definitely like was like caught in it and I was like, oh my gosh, t-shirt, t-shirt, t-shirt. Um, I threw all of them away. So don't do it. <laughs> do consider staying for spring semester. So I stayed for spring semester after my freshman year. To be fair, I like thought it sucked, but that's because I didn't have anyone else stay. But let me tell you why you should stay. I think you should consider staying just because you will still have summer to go home, which is still like July, like end of June, July, August. That's like two and a half, two and a half, yeah, two and a half months. So that's still a good amount of time to like go home and like kind of recuperate from Utah, but also spring semester, you take way less classes. Like you take six credits usually, and it's like two, three credit classes and maybe like a fun class. It, I was able to earn money. I had so much time. It was like really nice. I personally am a big advocate for spring semester just because I know a lot of people who do go home for the whole spring and summer, they find that they're like kind of bored or like don't know what to do with their lives because it's like kind of weird to get a job for like that short of a time. But like BYU makes it really easy to just get like a spring job or like a summer job. But after your freshman year, most people stay over the summer. I have a lot of do's. Do work or try to work before, um, before the semester. So like during that spring, summertime, if you are going home or if you aren't taking as many classes, do try to work or try to work even during the semesters. They have, BYU has a ton of on-campus jobs and um, during a semester, like fall and winter, you can't work more than 20 hours. And then during spring, summer, you can up, work up to 40 hours a week. It's really, really, really nice to have some spending money. If you wanna go hang out with friends because there's a lot of fun things to do in Provo or go out to eat, you need money to do that. So spending money is kind of nice to have. So try your best to see if you can work before or um, during just so that you can have that extra spending money. Do take advantage of opportunities that BYU gives you. BYU is an amazing school and we have so many amazing connections. I know even for me, just in the Marriott school, there are so many like networking events, um, employers and like internship opportunities that they give you. And there's so many career fairs all the time. It's so important to take advantage of these opportunities that BYU gives you. They also have a study abroads, which I'm also taking advantage of. The Marketing Association had like trips for networking. So I went to Boston for that. I know a couple of friends in like nursing who go to like schools and like read to kids as like volunteer service. I know um, there's a whole bunch of like student teacher opportunities. Just take advantage of all that BYU has to offer in terms of like furthering your 
resume and like your experience because it will help you so much once you're trying to look for a job. Um, do be aware of potential culture shock. So I'm from Seattle, Washington and Seattle is I would say like pretty diverse like we have a lot of different people there and coming to Utah I knew that it was gonna be different but I didn't know that like it would feel as different as it does I'm very aware of how I look different culturally compared to a lot of BYU campus and most people here, at, especially at BYU, not necessarily in Utah, most people at BYU are part of the LDS church. It's different being surrounded by people who hold the same standards as you and who like all follow the same religion uh, or most of them follow the same religion. It might be weird at first, but you'll get used to it and it'll actually turn some into something nice. Don't be discouraged if it takes some adjusting. So similarly to like what I just said, um, when I first came to BYU, I didn't know very many people from my area who was also going to BYU, um, at least my age, my age for freshmen. I knew like a lot of people the year before and stuff, but um, I came to BYU and I immediately felt so out of place. I felt like everyone already knew each other because a lot of people had EFY together or like, I don't even know. It just seemed like everyone knew each other and I was just like on the outskirts. And it might seem like that at first, but you'll get to know people and you'll like make friends really quickly. Everyone is actually in the same boat as you and you'll be so like, you'll be fine. You might have to step out of your comfort zone a little bit and like go up to people and talk to them, but don't be afraid if it already seems like people know each other. Do try to get to know your professors. I'm kind of bad at this just because I have like really big classes and I'm like kind of scared and I don't like, I don't know. I just, I talk to like a lot of my smaller class professors, but you never know when you need recommendations. So get to know your professors and like create a relationship with them. Be better than I am about that. Don't be surprised when everyone goes on a mission. After your freshman year, it's like mission calls are going out left and right. And you're just like, all my friends are leaving. All of my friends are leaving. Luckily, not a ton of my friends left on missions, but I definitely know a lot of people who were like really scared going into their sophomore year because a ton of their freshman friends left on missions. Don't worry, it's gonna be fine. You're gonna find new friends. You're still gonna keep in contact with the ones going on missions. You'll be okay. Do set aside specific time for yourself each week, for your friends each week, and for your family. So I needed time to myself each week to kind of just like recuperate and to like relax and to kind of bring myself back and so a lot of that would be kind of just at night or like after right after my classes i would just kind of go back to my room and i would like relax and i would like watch some youtube or whatever hang out with your friends outside of the campus just so that you can create memories and stuff that are fun about college so maybe like go get so delicious together or buy chip for someone and keep time for your family. So my family, we call once a week on Sundays and we talk for like an hour to an hour and a half and we just tell each other the highs and lows of our week and that's perfect for me. It's, it's such a great way to keep connected with my family and I also text my mom throughout the week and just send her pictures because she really likes pictures of what I'm doing. So it's just a great way to um, kind of keep you grounded and keep you focused on what actually matters, which is like family and um, your mental health and your relationships with other people. Do show little acts of kindness. Cookies can go a long way. I made a lot of friends through just handing out cookies my freshman fall semester. I literally like would just post on my Instagram story that I had free cookies and if anyone wanted one, they'd just like swipe up and DM me and I would go deliver it to them. And I made so many friends and it was just such a nice fun thing to do. So I highly suggest that. Um, 
it's just a good way to like meet people and like who doesn't like cookies everyone loves cookies in Provo honestly someone asked me about how strict the dress code is the dressing and grooming standards they are a thing here they are a thing like the testing center will like not let you go into the testing center if you're wearing leggings or if you're wearing things that aren't allowed by the dressing and grooming standards i don't really know about hair i have seen like people with colored hair i don't know if they get into the testing center easily um beard cards are a thing kind of like if you don't go here you're probably like what the heck but yeah beard cards are a thing some teachers will call you out um, mostly in like smaller classes. I've never like bigger classes like it's too big to even tell I know a lot of people wear like leggings on campus. They do take it seriously. So Just do with that as you will and You'll see when you get here What it's like and you can feel it out for yourself. Do Remember how lucky you are and what legacy you represent you represent Brigham Young University and this university has so many um, great alumni, great uh, qualities, and great associations with it. I know how lucky I am to be here and how many people wanted my spot and how BYU will help me get to where I want to be. It will help me with the values that I care about. It will help me with the goals, like career goals that I want to go into and it will bring me some of the most important relationships and friendships that I've ever had in my life. So just be aware of who you represent and always know that BYU is a special place and even though it might get tough, you'll be okay. Anyways, so that ended on like a very um, deep, emotional level but I kind of was like wanting to go into that a little bit with just this video just because admissions just went out like I said and I wish I knew some of these things before I went to BYU just because it's very different and I didn't know any of this before I came to BYU. I didn't even tour BYU before I came here let alone like I know some people who go to EFY here. And so I didn't know anything about BYU and I wish that someone had kind of told me a little bit about it before just so I knew what to expect. But seriously, BYU is one of the greatest places and it will help you so much and I love it. It's such an amazing experience and different experience than I feel like other colleges just because you are surrounded by people or a lot of people who share the same religion. BYU is great, and you guys are gonna have an amazing time here at BYU. Even if you go here already, um, you're gonna continue to have a great time. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.